This is Torrance Davis from Davis Daily and at CES 2026, Xbox Go, the makers of the Chameleon AI sports tracking system, announced their second generation camera, the Falcon. The Falcon is a huge step up with a 4K Sony image sensor, full range auto tracking, a six tops AI processor, zone mapping, AI editing, live streaming to multiple platforms and cloud storage. We spoke to the Xbox Go product manager, Jordan Sherman. So tell me about this new unit, the Falcon, and what it does differently than the old one. Okay, so the Falcon takes what we've done with our previous generations and is just more advanced. So right off the bat, we no longer need a mobile phone for the capture device. Right. Dual lens, one for AI tracking, and one for the capturing. Okay. So more advanced and more convenient being an all-in-one unit like right. this. Okay. Um, as far as the resolution on it, what is it, 4K? It'll be 4K native. And frame rate? Uh, so 4K 30 FPS, and then we can also do up to 60 FPS as well. All right, now is it cropped when you do 60? Any changes? Um, so when we do 60 FPS, we're dropping down to 1080p. Okay. Because no. you know, high speed sports, you want the high frame rate. Exactly. So uh, we have. The 4K is you know, for getting those crystal clear shots. Right. And then we have, especially for some of the quicker sports, yeah, we want that 60 frame rates, 60 FPS to make it glass smooth. Right. Now, for, let's say, basketball, you can track the numbers. Yeah. And you have to take all the players' individual jersey numbers? Uh, so what we, the way we do it now is we'll have you select the number that you want to track. So right. you want to track number 11, you can lock on to number 11 throughout the game. Right. And you can only track one at a time? Uh, so, yeah, right now you select one to track and but then you you'll track that. You can probably update that in the future. So, we're developing our AI analysis, especially for basketball, quite aggressively right. right now. So, in the future, you'll be able to actually get an analysis of yeah multiple numbers uh, on the team. So, we'll find out your player's number and then we'll be able to find out how many shots they took, how many baskets they made how many assists and various other stats. Okay. So so the way the AI works, I'm assuming it sees the ball go into the hoop, adds the score. Yeah, exactly. So we will actually, you know, it's actually even more interesting. We'll see the, we'll be able to track the arc of the ball and uh, we'll be able to determine, you know, how did that go? And then there is a, another bunch of factors to see, okay, did that go in? Was that a successful shot? Was it a missed shot? So you'll be able to get, eventually you'll be able to get your stats on everything. Missed shots, made shots. I'm assuming you put your camera high enough so you can see the 3D, the three point line, the free throw line, and it helps you determine wh wh whether it's two points, one point, or three points. Yeah, so actually the way it's gonna be at first is the users will be able to map it out specifically where the three point lines okay. are. So that way we can just have it locked. So okay. you'll have, we make it kind of easy. We'll make it some points around the three point right. lines. Mm -hmm. So you mark those out and then we'll be able to know, okay, that was a, a three point shot or not. Now, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're running an app on your phone. Yeah. Can you on the fly track different players without having to worry about doing the jersey number? Um, you, can, you can select specific targets to track mm -hmm. in some modes. Right. Yeah, so in our normal basketball mode, the idea is we're going to be able to follow the ball strong enough that you won't need to follow individual players. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but theoretically in some modes we can do this. You can lock onto a target and then track them. What other stats can you track with it? Uh, so eventually you'll be able to have everything. So basically you can get down the line you'll be able to get steals, assists, uh, fouls. fouls, fouls, eventually, eventually, yeah. We're very aggressively developing all of our stats uh, to be able to determine everything. Yeah, some things are harder than others, yeah. and it's going to be rolling out in stages what's possible, yeah. but uh, the future's looking very bright. What other sports are you looking into? Okay, so we're going to be looking at next year support for football, yeah. flag football, mm -hmm. baseball is going to be big, so these are kind of some kind of tricky sports with, uh, yeah, a lot of demand. People want these, especially flag football. We yeah. see this growing so fast yeah. over uh, recent years, so I'm really excited about our flag football mode. Uh, it's going to be coming out soon. It should be launching with Falcons, so when okay. users start to receive Falcons, they should be able to use this new flag football mode. So it's, uh, it's going to be incredible. Uh, as far as statistics and all that stuff, 
I'm assuming you record the whole game, then you can edit it later, and then add the you know the screens for the statistics. How does that work? Ah, okay. So the way we can do it, we can do it a number of ways, but. Mostly, like you said, after the recording is over, we can use AI to analyze the entire video, and then we can determine through uh, using large language models, to, like multimodal large language right. models, to analyze what happened during the game. Okay. So this will be done yeah, post-processing. All right, here's the big question. Can the AI just pick out you know, all of the good stuff, like the good shots, the dunks, the three-pointers? Yeah, so uh, this is one of the things I'm most excited about. I'll give you an example for uh, flag football and uh, American football. So as we know with these sports, there's a lot of downtime in between the plays. So if we're watching a full football game uh, again, there's a lot of stuff we don't want to see. Right. We'll actually be able to use AI to cut out all of the downtime between yeah. points. Yeah. So you can actually watch a condensed game without missing a single play right. in under 10 minutes, under nine minutes. So it's gonna be very incredible. We'll be able to do stuff like that. Uh, and also like with other stats, you'll be able to just get your rundown after the game. You'll be able to track your whole seasons. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, we kind of envision this to be a companion throughout your whole season and ideally throughout your whole youth sports career. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else like it out there. I've looked, there's nothing else like this. It's like you guys got yourself a niche. Last couple questions. What's the price point and availability? Okay, so the Falcon just launches on xboxgo.com today with a pre-sale price, special introductory price of 600 US dollars. That's not bad. 599, yeah. That's a good price. That's a good price. What it does, that's a great price. I'm, we're very excited about this. We launched the Kickstarter. Uh, last year, late last year, and that was a phenomenal success. Right. So a lot of people are excited about it. We're excited about it. So launching today, xbotgo.com. Yeah, special introductory price, $600. Okay, one more major question. Yeah. This, this might stump you, here we go. Oh does it support live streaming? It does support live streaming. I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah, we made this extremely easy. So one click and you're live. You can live on the Xbox Go live stream platform, or you can live stream to YouTube, Facebook, or anything else that supports RMTP. RMTP, right. Yeah. Wow. That's dope. That's dope. I'm going to have to take this to like a local game and, and test it all out, because it's amazing to me. And like, so I see on the screen here, you got the score show. Yeah. Was that post-production or? Nope, that's actually something we can set up in real time. So you can have scores, uh, your scoreboard set up, and that's going to get a large overhaul. So we, originally you could have a scoreboard for different sports and it was, it was kind of basic. Right. It was just say, you know, look what we have. Right. But very, like right now we're coming out with an overhauled version. Each scoreboard will be sports specific and it's going to look really sharp. We want to give it that, you know, professional appearance. So it looks like you're watching a professional sports broadcast. Are you going to add templates? We will have some templates. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What about user-created templates? Like I could go into Photoshop and edit some files because you know they have the lower four th four thirds in Photoshop and Premiere. Could I do that with this? Yeah. So that's something that we're going to be rolling out too. We want to give our users as much flexibility as possible. Right. A lot of our users, you know, they want to put, for example, logos from like uh, local sponsors. Right. So we want to give our users this kind of flexibility yes. to use the Xbox Go. You know, not only as just like pure recording, but you make a production, give them more right. production tools right. to make a more professional looking broadcast, right. which before in youth sports has been not even a, right. a possibility. If I if I took this to a local game and didn't tell anybody and then I made the video and showed it to them, they would be blown away. Especially with the points on the screen. The score, it's like, how did you do that? You know? Yeah. I mean, you guys got something. That's what you should be marketing. Like, go crazy with that stuff because there's nothing like this. Thank you for thank you for that feedback. You know, that's something that I think about all the time as well. Like, how can we make sports, youth sports, you know, more interesting? How can we make it more immersive, more engaging, more yeah, like a professional broadcast? Right, right. Yeah, exactly. That's what people want. That's the one thing that's missing from high school and youth sports. And we have all this technology now, and 
we're not really using it like that, you know? Yeah, exactly. When we have this professional broadcast, you know, the, the youth athletes, the kids, they feel like heroes. Yeah. They feel like the heroes they watch on TV when yeah. they see this kind of you know, ESPN-style production you know, in their youth games. So here's my challenge to you. After you get all that other stuff done, figure out how to use it for boxing. Okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Get some fight Set nights. Set it up on a pole and just have it go back and forth. That would be incredible. That's a great idea. Get some stats for boxing, yes, too. Wouldn't that be yes, something? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. Nice meeting you. Torrent, it's a pleasure. All right. Great. Thank you.